What's up, guys? Welcome back to Cafecito Time. Y'all, thank you so much for the amazing love that y'all are giving us on the YouTube channel. Yeah, yeah, hit it up. So thank you guys so much. Uh, continue to share, subscribe, comment. Let everybody know about Cafecito Time. And um, if you haven't yet. My baby's allergies are uh, acting a fool today. If I sound like a man, that is why. <laughs> hey, how y'all doing? Y'all? <laughs> it's like, everyone's like, oh, they finally made that R&B jingle they wanted to do. <laughs> this is the intro it's, he was talking about. Hey, yo. It's me. I know, I know you like Cole. Hey, I'm going to come in doing that voice to men voice. Hey, yeah. What is it? I know the you third verse. Doing it. Yeah. The bridge. Take him to the bridge. Okay. Take it to the house. Um, <laughs> anyway, um, I, I want to start with something positive on the show today. <clears throat> hey, little something lady. I had seen. <laughs> Sup, little mama. Listen, this is actually better than this actual morning when I first get up. Is Let's it not? See. Yeah. So, what you got for us? Are you looking for a quote? Uh, no, I actually haven't. Um, so, I always like to start with a positive quote on my podcast. So, I figure we all need a little bit of positivity Let's when you're it. starting off. So. Strength grows in the moments when you think you can't go on, but you keep going anyway. Strength grows in the moments where you can't go on, but you keep going, going. anyway. That's right. Like Rocky said, it's not about getting knocked down. It's about how you get back up. How many times you get back up? There you go. Exactly. Uh, today's episode, uh, look at this beautiful sponsorship drop I'm about to do. <laughs> get your cafecito time scented wax melts and candles and uh, is that what you call those wax melts? Wax melts, yes. yes. Uh, hit it up, man. Twincandleco.com. And you can have the same aroma and the same vibes It that smells we have. so good. And I'm not even just saying that. You can actually the fact and you I can, can smell I can it. smell it. That's the thing. <laughs> I mean, my soul's had issues smelling for a hot minute. First time she got Rona, lost the smell, caught it again, got the smell back. No? And then... Kind of. Ha- came got back. a half smell back. Yeah. <laughs> I can only smell certain things. It might have more to do with like... Allergy, I think allergies, allergies yeah. and nostrils. What happened was I caught, I think I caught COVID, but that's when it was super early on. We don't know, right? Yeah, when even Fauci didn't even know. No one Nobody knew. knew. No one knew Fauci, nothing. Fauci didn't know if we knew that he exactly. knew. Exactly. So no one knew nothing. <laughs> and then um, after that, I got shortly after I got pregnant. Yeah. So then it was like, okay, you know, why go to the ENT? They're going to tell me it's probably hormonal. So I'll just wait till after I have the baby. My baby is now 13 months old and I have yet to go back to the ENT. So at some point, I'll get yeah. there. I promise. Patreon.com forward slash <laughs> red, pill red pill tamales. So for new listeners, the two podcasts are Her Lounge and RPT. Where, yeah. where, where can people listen? Well, you can look up Red Pill Tamales anywhere you stream your podcast. That's Spotify, Apple Podcasts, uh, Rockfin, R-O-K-F-I-N.com, Rumble, and so on and so forth. But uh, a lot of the members of the TIA, the Tamal Intelligence Agency, they make clips and they post, you know what I mean? They got memes and there's a TIA only fans. There uh, is Instagram. Instagram, yeah. Oh, my God. That's the name of the page. It ain't, it ain't really. Oh, my God. I thought that was hilarious. <laughs> yeah, I thought exactly. that was funny. like, y'all were for real. You're like, not really going to see a tamal on there. You might see a toe, though. <laughs> might see my toe. <laughs> oh my Her lounge can be found on iTunes, Spotify, and anywhere that you listen to podcasts as well. Minus Rockfin. Minus Rockfin. All of them except Rockfin. Yeah, but Rockfin, if you want to work a deal yeah, with Her you know, lounge we, podcast. We could do something. You know what I'm saying? You know. I mean, come on. Y'all, so Kanye. And get right in the Kanye. I'm sorry. Yay. <laughs> yay. Yay. I thought you were going to say it's Halloween. Yo, Boy. but listen, when he was on, well, it is Halloween, mm-hmm. but Kanye, yay, yay, is everywhere. And he has no last name anymore, by the way. So he's mm-hmm. not Kanye West. He's and it's not yay. Name. He's not yay West. It's just yay. You know what I'm talking about? Because on Pierce, what's his Pierce last name? Morgan. 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 He said, um, can you imagine if. Kim and I got together again, she would be uh, Kim Ye. <laughs> oh my God. That's what he said? He said that. Kim Ye. <laughs> that would be her uh, new last name, Kim Ye. I can't keep up. I he's, can't He's either. doing a whole bunch of interviews and I'm getting confused. I am, a, I, this is the thing. So Chingo also watched this other thing where it's a guy that pretty much is an interpreter. <laughs> Who, Anomaly? <laughs> he, yeah, he broke it down. Oh, like, he broke uh, like, uh, Just the anonym, Anomaly's takes. Oh, okay, YouTube. okay. He's got some great takes. Mm-hmm. And so I thought it was interesting. Careful now. Don't, don't get, don't get uh, debanked. And, uh, yeah, what, right. Uh, what did, how did Kanye describe it? He said... Uh, Deleted? Di- no, yeah, digitally crucified or yeah. something like that, where they're just like trying to erase him, memory hole, mm-hmm. like... All the hoaxes and narratives. 
But now I'm confused because he, he's like, I'm not backing down. Fuck this shit. You know, F the, you know, you know, the Jews. I'm not <laughs> oh saying God. that. He said that. Yeah. Okay? You're not even allowed to quote someone. I know, it. right? I'm not saying here, that. Here come I J- know, because uh, it'll wanna, come back. Here come J.P. Morgan Chase. Oh, sorry, Mayor. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, oh, here come PayPal. PayPal just put out 2500 We can no longer have th- uh, Thick Fine on our PayPal. <laughs> Uh-oh, Lex Friedman. Yeah, Lex Friedman doing a whole episode about you now. So I'm just, so that's what he said, right? But now this morning you were playing something where he was like, um, I apologize to everything that I said about of uh, George Floyd, right? Because now they're doing me. Adidas oh, he is says doing he me. says now I know what it's like to have a a, a neck, I mean uh, a, a foot on your neck, or yeah, a knee on your Sam neck. Sam Harris tweeted that it kind of out of context that one little clip. There was there's like a two minute clip to that where he said that in the middle. Oh, he oh yeah. So where, gonna, where what, what interview was that on? He was just on the street somewhere, wasn't he? This the one about? Yeah, I don't even. Yeah, know. it was like in a parking lot. TMZ style. Yeah, it was yeah, it was TMZ style. Seppa, I mean you could probably interview. Okay, him. so he. Okay, so one of the things, and, and let me tell you something. I was telling, I was telling Chingo, I was like, "Oh my god, the interview with Pierce Morgan was so over the top to where it was like childish." And I had to, I try, I, I did sit through almost everything. I got a, maybe like ten minutes left, but it was like when Pierce Morgan would try to like get a word in as he was trying to finish a sentence, he would go like this: "La la 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 la." He's like, "You cut me off, boy." Boy, <laughs> you exactly. finished my sentence, boy. Boy, he's like, "Don't call me a boy." Well, boy, you're acting like a boy. I was like, "That's my kind of interview." You want to go watch oh it? Oh my god! Like, I was like, "How much more of this?" Is I was waiting for Pierce Morgan to say, "This is that we're done, bro." <laughs> but actually, he got pissed and said, and said. Uh, interview adjourned and got up and then he came back. Pierce Morgan got up? No, Kanye. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. I guess he's just having, I don't know, He his strategy is is like take every interview and keep flooding the all the different spaces with your side and you your explanation and your mm-hmm. update because he says which is an interesting uh, thing like Jax uh, Phoenix out there uh, with uh, the homie uh, Rock and Roll James that's one thing he was saying because we just came back from the valley. Right. But but Jax was saying something that I heard Ye say, which is like I update daily. Yeah. Like it's like your cell phone software. He's like you can learn and correct and adjust. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, you know. and he said that too on the on the Pierce Morgan um, interview. But he actually said he's like the thing is is that basically social media doesn't allow you to update every day because you're crucified right. or you're yeah. taken down so you're never allowed to like if you said something yesterday you're fucked yes you know you shouldn't have said that yesterday because you're not allowed the next day to apologize yeah. or feel bad or whatever you know so he said you know but my thing is Piers morgan said he asked him how how many hours of sleep did you get today and he stayed quiet. He was like, how many hours of sleep did you get? You know? <laughs> you know you are, like, but what am I? Yeah, basically. <laughs> and he said, I got about five. And he's so good about like. You talking n- about Pierce? Yeah. About yeah. not fucking like, I guess, uh, going to like getting annoyed. Cause I don't if know. He, I didn't hand, he didn't handle Andrew Trait that well, but go on. Really? Yeah. I, Cause if I would have like been interviewing Kanye, like that would have been like, bro, Stop now. Like, let's just stop. Well, but but at the same time, though, uh, no cae el bien el pinche de Pierce Morgan. Because, no. like, if he really wanted to hear him out and have, like, a real conversation, not like everybody else did it. Cuomo, Lex Friedman, they're all like, I'm on my... Like, basically, you're canceled, bro, and how are you going to apologize right now? It's like... Peter Rosenberg, all these people, Charlemagne had his little two cents to say. Now there's a clip from nine years ago. And mm-hmm. see, we, see, this is how you know this is how you know Kanye's kind of over the target because people are afraid to even touch upon this subject. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's almost like you're going against uh, 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 the bat soup theory mm-hmm. or you're saying maybe, the, you know, it's like it's on the same list. Yeah. Damn near. It's DEFCON. All this shit. We like this shit's been the Kanye saga has been going on for about two weeks. But anyway, uh, Charlemagne, there's a nine year old clip of him on DJ Vlad. You seen it? Yep. Oh, yeah. Where basically he's saying the same shit Kanye was was saying the other day except he didn't say i hate them yeah no no, no. neither did kanye neither did kanye, kanye, kanye say i hate them no i don't think so he, he just he said they got a, he said they got a lot of power and they controlling me i don't remember him yeah saying. do you want so do you want the two, the two minute clip of the clip you're talking about Chingo? Charlotte? Sure. no with uh no with uh kanye on the street here oh okay right, tell one to bring this came out, it made us come together as a people now afterwards yes there was some uh there was some things where the money went 
There were some things where it was used in order to push us to the Democratic vote. There were people behind and involved. That happened. But the general feeling. So when I said that and I and I and I questioned the death of George Floyd, it hurt my people. It hurt the black people. So I want to apologize to hurting them because right now God has shown me by what Adidas is doing and by what by what the media is doing. I know how it feels to have a knee on my neck now. Mm. So wow. I thank you, God, for humbling me and letting me know how it really felt. Because how could the richest black man ever be humbled other than to be made to not be a billionaire in front of everyone off of one comment that actually, if you look at the definition of DEF CON, it means to get extra defense, which obviously I must have needed. Yeah. You're I must ready. have needed that extra defense. Are you worried you ruined your legacy, honey? How? How? How Sway? Well, stop. I'm, I'm, um, <laughs> I'm not worried. I'm just not worried, period. God is alive. God runs yeah. the world. Yeah. You know, God even runs Hollywood. Yeah. Wow. God is alive. That way. And he's using me right now. He chose me for such a time like this to be, to basically for the, for the media to put their knee on my neck. For Adidas to put their knee on my neck. All I ever wanted at Adidas, I left Nike because Nike wouldn't give me a percentage for my shoes and I had the Red October. And my girlfriend at the time was pregnant and I needed to get some money. Because if I was the kid that just had the red shoes, I could have never been a black man wearing a red hat. When the, when the, Bars. Like Nike would have shut Bars. me down immediately, right? right dude. But because Adidas was song. a German company, it gave me a little bit more room to be able to express myself and to actually have a political opinion. Mm. Yeah. Mm. There's another part to it. Wow. Uh, yeah. You know what's important? You know what's like interesting context? Mm -hmm. mm. We don't see what's going on all around them. Like yeah. All the people so he's saying? obviously comfortable. I f and then you heard he had allies, right? Because they're all like, what? Shut up. Like when they're like, you think, hey, Kanye, you think you're ruining your legacy? And they're yeah. like, man, how sway? Yeah, exactly. All right. So now that our coffee is here, and I know it's a little bit late, let's do the simultaneous sip. Let's do it. You're Sorry. In? I don't know if Rob got anything. Nah, just y'all. Oh, just y'all. Okay. He got him a C4 somewhere up under the table. <laughs> Let's it's go. really, it's, it's really, he's really got a, 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 a what do you call it? A, IV. A going in. All right, here we uh, go. Let me just say this. Um, I don't know how I'm going to cut back on smoking, but this is one of the ways. We're going to inhale the good shit, exhale the bullshit, because you sometimes go. you just need a deep breath. And, you know, you know, marijuana helps, but <sighs> inhale the good shit, <sighs> exhale the bullshit. All right, sip it. Sip it. Mm. Coffee's a good second if you can't really toke it Ooh. up, you know. Everybody out there sipping. Listen. So what are the next steps with Yay? But go ahead and say what you guys yeah. say. Coffee is life. It it really La is. Pura vida. Oh, you ever heard of Roosevelt coffee? No. Okay. So during World War II, uh they had to ration they started to have rationing different uh, commodities. Right? I was about to say, Teddy Roosevelt had his own coffee? Say what? I was going to say, Teddy Roosevelt had his own coffee? Well, check this out. He was president at the time, and they started rationing different things. Like, all right, everybody, uh, they started, they had a whole system. It's kind of complicated, but like every household had like these little chips. And so you would pay for your item, but then you had like this tax. You had a limited amount of chips. Let's say every household had 17 chips or something. And you went to go buy coffee. And if coffee was being rationed at the time, you had to cough up seven of your chips. So now you only got 10 left for to pay. Anyway, there's fucking rations, right? Yeah, yeah. Long story short, people in America had to start cutting back. Lord have mercy. Had to, <laughs> had to start cutting back on coffee. They had to start rebrewing with old uh, grounds. grounds. What do you call that shit? Grounds? Yeah, grounds. Mm -hmm. They had to like run that shit back. Uh. Yes. And they were like, y'all want some Roosevelt coffee? Because we rationing right now. Damn. So that's why we, you know, we be trying to, you know, why you think I got on YouTube and looked up World War II recipes and how people survived during the Dust Bowl? King's going to be the most prepared person if things. Man, I, how not all the way, but I'm, I'm trying. It's like that ain't enough firewood. Right. You know what I'm saying? I look at the firewood stash like, nah, we need more than that. Did you show Sol the inside uh, furnace stove thing? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Aren't those cool? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have a friend of mine who has one, but it's a real one. Like a legit, like old school. Oh, like a kind. vintage built into antique? The house? It's a, it was already built into their farm house yeah. type thing. Yeah. Because it's out in the 
Boonies. And the boonies. Yeah. So, you know. You know. Yeah. You know. I, I definitely you know. know. Yeah. I definitely you know. know. Move. Okay, so finishing up so that we can move on. So conclusion about Kanye. Yeah, we'll put a we'll put a pin in it. I'm just my my biggest thing right now is I'm just kind of peeping his strategy of like And what do you what do you think this is for? You think he's it's because he's trying to like one, is he trying to be like Adidas? You're gonna do what the fuck I want you to do. Two gap you know what i'm saying like you're gonna continue to pay me for whatever the remainder of my contract was right mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and then three <clears throat> is this really like uh an eye opener to maybe i don't know maybe like uh How the minorities you know like uh-huh. like listen open your eyes we get fucked in a lot of ways you know what i'm saying if you don't read your contracts if you don't have a good lawyer everything looks beautiful like we got to do more than just be excited about oh i'm gonna pay you a million oh, you know yeah do you think that's what he's trying to do or what what is he trying to do just inform that's a great question um whew. there's a lot to unpack right there <laughs> there's a lot to unpack you can't just put a pin in it right well, there's just so be- much like like for example yeah, for sure like for example how many houston rappers and like bay area artists have been screaming own your art, own your masters, like be independent, control your shit, be like Too Short, be like Master P, be like Slim Thug. You know what I'm saying? Um, shit, be like Chingo be like Bling. Because people are like, how, how are you turning down, you know, Capitol Records wants to give you 400 grand, but it's an artist deal. A lot of people are unfamiliar with it's that. It's an artist deal. Like, I, I don't want a boss and I don't want to work for you and you own all the shit. But you really um, don't get four hundred thousand at the end, right? Well, it depends. That mm-hmm. in that particular case, that might have been like an advance. Mm-hmm. But it's mm-hmm. basically, it's basically. Look at it this way: the record label is a is a overly glorified credit card with high interest return rate. So mm-hmm. basically, yeah, they're gonna give you four hundred thousand advance, and they might even have a million dollars in the budget to for your music videos and your this and your street team and your that. And then when your shit starts selling. No, that was it, bro. You got four hundred grand. Mm. So, from your perspective, what does Kanye do next with his music, with his brand, with his clothing, with his? What does he do? Well, first, I was gonna say I feel like his overall strategy is to kind of like show and kind of. It's almost like he. I don't know. He he can't hold his breath to get like this big apology from the Jewish community. That's like, sorry, we own the record labels. You know, sorry, we control. Mm-hmm. He he's spinning it as y'all control our voice. Mm-hmm. You know, and it's kind of like, well, I kind of see what you're saying because they own y'all's art and a lot of the media outlets and they were saying you were a crazy Trump supporter that were off your meds. And you said, what is next steps? Yeah. Well, what's his, what does he do next with everything? With the Yeezy brand and the music? I, I just, I don't see, I, I feel like he has so much love and so much uh, support and so much uh, creativity and st- he still has a lot of leverage and resources to where... I don't know if he morphs into like this Elon Musk esque type of person. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like he's just gonna come up with something so impactful and so like popular and profitable and in demand that people are gonna be like either either a parlor fucking bl- blows up. Yeah, or he put out some other shoe or he buys a a shoe factory. And- that's that. That's exactly where I was going next. Mm-hmm. He's got so much money why is it just because is it almost like i'm just going to use me as an example right could i go and open up a brick and mortar yes to sell her apparel right but i also know how much of a risk that is right so instead i do a pop-up right not li- i'm in a store now and i pay rent to have a little space inside the store right mm-hmm. so is that him he'd rather work with adidas get a percentage of whatever he creates right but adidas is the one now having the having to manufacture dealing with you know what i'm saying if they run out of something all the logistics they deal with it because he's got enough money to go find a factory in china that'll make his shoe but yeah he wants he could even do it domestically yes so so why that's really i think what he wants to do so so why go why go um why go partner up with Adidas? Why? Why does it matter? Like, why well, not? If Sway, you've got the what, money, that's what Sway was saying. Now and right, but no, then, Sway said it back then. No, I'm saying, but now he could do that on his own. Back then, yes, he back, needed, he, back then, yeah. yeah but kick, right now, started. why? Who cares? Buy Adidas, like, well, because uh, even Balenciaga <laughs> dropped him. Yeah. So, so 
for example, there was that time period where remember he bought a bunch of Gildan shirts, mm-hmm. right? And then he put Pablo Pablo. I'm, I'm not good at knowing the time, the time years, but like I know midnight people that are more into fucking mm. fashion like that. He'll tell you the exact play. But basically, he would go into a market days before his big arena concert or mm-hmm. whatever it is. They would rent out a, a, an empty um, brick and mortar, like they some shit that was like available empty for space, lease. Yeah, yeah mm-hmm. empty space. Had that bitch all white, just put up a flag and like a dirt bike. And then there's like two racks and then a piece of paper that says Pablo T-shirt red, you know, 50 bucks, whatever. Pablo T-shirt blue, 80 bucks or whatever. Or how much they cost it. Everything was probably 100, 150 and up. And it was like this pop up days before. And it was a there was a start time and an end time. And it was a very simple system and a menu to where kids, the hype beasts were lined up. And he caked up, made a bunch of money, and then was able to, now you got a little bit of leeway and leg room if you want to fly to Paris and do research or Mm. hire a designer or Mm. buy the software or invest in the the fabric or whatever the fuck. You guys follow Earn Your Leisure, right? Mm -hmm. A little bit. bit. They had a, you want to hear their take on what Mm -hmm. Kanye should or could do? Shift it on over to you guys. Uh, If Kanye is listening or anybody from his camp is listening, I personally think that he could he could have the biggest fashion release in mm-hmm. the world mm. if he does it himself. Mm-hmm. And a lot of people are like, well, how is he going to do it himself? He doesn't have the infrastructure. I think he can do the infrastructure himself. But if not, I personally, I told Troy, if I was him, I'd be living in China right now. Yep. I'd be in China for six months. Yep. They have wow. the infrastructure. That's where all the sneakers get made anyway. Yeah, so you know two right. things that he can do. I feel like he could actually just use their infrastructure use their plants so you don't have to create new plants you don't have to do anything they're already making nikes and every other sneaker in china and they can make his product and he can sell it and make a killing direct to consumer online yep Yep. or if he could just partner with a chinese company and Mm. that's even probably indian company like i said they have the infrastructure they have the money they have the system so all the stuff that he always complained about like he didn't have he could go to Asia right now and get everything, and they'll they'll work with him because yep. he's a cash cow. They know they're gonna make money. Yeah, I'd rather yeah. have him go to India. Yeah, it's kind of <laughs> short sighted to say just go to China and have China do it. Would I mean, he, I don't care well, who he goes to, but I'm just saying yeah. it's possible. I get DMs all the time. We manufacture. Yeah. Would you like a sample? You know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah. I, I know the point he's making. Yeah, he's basically saying why why take on all the risk and all the infrastructure and build everything from ground up. However, he's not factoring factoring in how vocal Kanye has been about China. Yeah. And the well, Uyghurs. Do we, I don't know if we have a button for that, but we, I don't have a key. China. <laughs> but you get what he's saying, though. Yeah, no, I, I totally understand. But and, yeah, and, India. And also, um, <laughs> whichever, I don't care. Okay, Bangladesh. Um, yeah, yeah. But um, because one thing... I forgot who interviewed him and said, will anybody really be, because he said basically he was going to open up a store, right? I forgot who it was that interviewed him. And will will the average person be able to come in and actually purchase like a $20 t-shirt? No, no, no. A $50 t-shirt or something like that. And then he goes, $20 t-shirt. So, because he's going to supposedly make it affordable Mm -hmm. for like everyday consumer. Everyday consumer. You know, which I think it's is smart, mm-hmm. right? I think it's smart. But then is he going to have like his luxury line? Or is it just going to be like, this is the Forever 21 and then this is the Saks Fifth? Mm. Yeah, more than likely. Yeah. You know? Maybe he'll be like Shaq and just go all in on like Walmart. Or well, here's, yeah. the di- here's the biggest difference though. It's going to be fashionable and in demand and popular. Yeah. <laughs> like right now, he's wearing the same zip up jacket to every interview I've seen this man be on. And it's got like spots of paint on it. Like he's been painting inside. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like at, and it, it looks like a Carhartt that he took the Carhartt logo off of. That's uh, what it kind of looks like. Oh, uh. I don't know. I, it, to me, it just looks like my dad's zip up jacket. It's going to come back around. It's going to be popular <laughs> as fuck again. Well, yeah, because right now he's on some functional shit, you know what yeah. I mean? Like and solutions his boots, and... his 3D boots, have you guys, did you guys see no. him? He showed him on Pierce Morgan. I mean, they're just like super, I don't know. It looks like not, he worked for City of Houston. Hmm. <laughs> Listen, yeah, I'm not going to lie. I probably would rock them just because they're Kanye's, right? But I can't say that if I, if I saw them and then I didn't know they were Kanye's, I wouldn't like. Are these them? No, those are another shoe. Oh, those look like what you drive the Elon Musk truck in. Before we shift gears in another topic, 
um the biggest the biggest story like embedded like the hidden lead is how cancellations work how you we're at a place where you could be debanked like they could sue alex jones for a billion gazillion dollars right uh george floyd family want to sell i mean uh sue kanye for like 200 whatever 50 million you know what i'm saying yeah. like that's like the uh jp morgan chase yeah and then somebody named ari emmanuel that he keeps posting like text messages and is that who, the CAA guy? Is that who that is? I oh so. yeah. So why does he keep addressing him? It's almost like he's accusing him of being like alphabet boy. Like yeah, what is, yeah, what yeah. is he saying? But he exactly? was uh, from what I remember, he was in like one he's of the, the orchestrator. Yes, of, one of the, in one of the rants. That's why because uh, that that was his agency, right? For a while, CAA. Yeah, really? Yeah, I believe oh, so. Right. I'll look it up right now, but I believe that's why. And um, yeah, anyway, he's been going in on him. I was trying to think of the name the other day. Juan and I were talking about it. That's who it is, I think. But like basically, they people thought like. Oh, they just kicked Trump off of Twitter just because, you know, he incited a riot. Oh, well, you know, Andrew Tate, he said something. Some people complained. Oh, Alex Jones. Oh, oh Kanye. Yeah. I asked uh, Chingo yesterday, what if Elon Musk silenced Biden and took him off of Twitter like the, the way they did Trump? Well, he, Do you think that would happen? No, I say no. There's no way. Why not? He can't. Is he trying to play that game? Oh, well, because he's been. somebody would, though. It's because he, he's been so vocal about saying how foolish it was to have um taken trump off yeah so that alone is kind of like come on bro you can't be a hypocrite. yeah or anybody like silencing and banning anybody that was uh, the or the motherfucking command in chief yeah meanwhile you still got a lot of goofy shit on on that damn oh yeah platform or the babylon b and all these other accounts just got dropped for no reason yeah so i think that's the biggest story is people think like oh what they're doing to kanye they can't really do you know to his because he's kanye he said this and he was said some hateful things and i also noticed that People aren't like Lex Friedman or anybody. This is one of the points Anomaly made. All these people that are pushing back on Kanye, like, no, you need to apologize. That's hateful. So da, 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 you're divisive. Da, da. Nobody is going line by line debunking or fact check. Nobody's saying this part right here is false because or this part right here is wrong because this part right here is dangerous and troublesome because... And it's kind of, they're all like saying, I don't want to get into the whole free speech argument or whatever, but they're just like, no, gotta get off. You, yeah. you go away. That is the argument though. People don't want to hear that, but that is the argument on social media that free speech is dead or it's dying. And people like that are letting it happen. You can't, man. You cannot allow that. Especially like coming from the stand up world. I still got a take on this. She got a hot take on it. Well, no. <clears throat> I mean, I want for people to find clips of maybe. Howard Stern in the 80s. Oh, yeah. Everywhere. So they've been saying crazy shit. It's just the world we're in right now. We have a bunch of fucking softies. Oh, I thought she was going to say something else. <laughs> the media that is controlled by the... A bunch no. of... It's just a bunch of softies. None but... You know... <laughs> Only one. <laughs> and then she goes on to get canceled. Right? Ain't number but two genders. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so I'm not gonna go there, but if you'd like to hear more about that, go to her lounge because that's my topic every motherfucking Wednesday and Friday. <laughs> bitch, it's true, it's ain't true. number two genders, bitch. <laughs> so these are half half hour episodes that we do uh, every Tuesday. That timeline, I think Juan's kind of looking at the numbers of when most people tune in. So we've been saying noon, but it might be early in the morning, it might be late in the afternoon. But just keep uh, on top of Chingo's Facebook channel and the YouTube Chingo Bling to see when they drop. But the podcast is always up midday. Videos, if you like watching videos, will we'll be a little bit sporadic just depending on what Facebook likes or youtube likes yeah check out the can uh the candles cafecito time candles and we're about to start taking pre-orders for the red pill blend coffee that's yes. which will be the bit the, the coffee we'll be drinking not starbucks yeah yes. exactly because starbucks ain't no motherfucker sponsor and they probably believe in 89 genders anyway but uh grind ops there's more coffee. than eight there's 84 check this out real quick before we go mm -hmm. okay go ahead finish no that. do no. your thing bro it was so crazy so pastor on Sunday, Dr. Said, Ed Young. Dr. Dr. Ed, Ed Young. Put respect on his name. He said, he checked one day to see how many genders there was, and he said, there were like 60, right? Well, you know, I go on to research, <laughs> and as of Monday, 10 p.m., or whatever it was, right, <laughs> there were 62. By the following morning, I check again, it was 87. Yeah. 
Or it went up by two in four hours. It was so funny, but it <laughs> was like he it. was so because you know what I what I feel when I hear when I hear uh, our pastor preaching is is definitely in my days type of thing, yeah, right? Because to them, my grandmother's got Alzheimer's right now, right? But if my grandmother, I feel understood, or I could actually sit down and talk to her and be like, do you know that? Abuelita, ¿sabe que los nueve meses pueden abortar? Yeah, if I said anything, um, yeah, my grandmother had nine. What do you think she'd feel about that? Right. She'd be like, damn. <laughs> Dude. So. I want to piggyback on what you just said. Uh, real quick, you know how you said, like, it's back in my days, what it feels like with Dr. Ideon speaking? Yeah. We're going to be saying that to our kids, like, back in our day, but it's all going to be digital, and they're going to be able to delete the things that we saw and read. Our parents and grandparents like, have things written uh, in books. Okay, or like book do you, burning. Do you exactly. want to know what I want to do, what I've been doing? This is really dumb. I know. But, um, so we got this random letter. I think I told, talked about it last time about where they were giving us free money just based on our zip code. No. It was a discount on electricity. Okay. Because our zip code where we're in. In our last name, I think. In our last name. Mm, makes sense. Hispanic Brown people. programs, you mm, know. Mm. So, um, Pete was going to throw it away and I said, no, 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 don't throw it away. I'm going to keep it because I want to make a scrapbook of all this crazy shit because it's exactly what I thought. That's so weird that you said that right now because I said, I'm not going to have proof yeah. to show anybody. Sure. Or when I say something, I'll be like, really? That sounds crazy. No, actually, let me show you my scrapbook right quick. Page one. You know what I'm saying? Screenshots of tweets. Yeah. <laughs> no, In 2020. In 2022. Uh, uh, NPR has said, <laughs> y'all dumb if y'all think it did not come from bat soup. You know what I'm saying? That's... That's how I feel. Like I, I saved that paper because I couldn't believe it. Oh, because imagine if goes, I print out all my tweets. <laughs> oh my god! You yeah, should. Jesus, should. By, by the book. morning, it'll be a whole book. Go ahead. But that'd be funny. It sh you should because I, I do kind of feel like something's gonna happen, and then all of a sudden Oops. it's like, yes, yeah, everything got deleted. What? Uh -oh. Who did that? Starting over. Y two K. Hey, we have to go through your house. Make sure y'all don't have any of these books that are on this list. Now Y two K all of a sudden happened, right? Our computers crashed. Russian Oops. EMPs. Yes. So what, what, what's I just the EMP stand for? Electronic uh, modular modular pulse oh. something. Mm. Um, I just kind of feel like that's gonna happen. So I thought it stood for the government gonna cut off your internet. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Something. I just kind of like. Uh, I just. I just feel like that's going to happen. So, yes, I've been saving. Pretty much everything stupid. we've been saying been coming true. Yeah. Yet everybody still be like, oh, yeah, they're conspiracies. So are we going, sh should we discuss, should we just make this one short or one long? Because no, I want to talk about our bus shorts, tour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We'll keep it yeah. here and then we'll, we'll pick up, pick up right. on the next one. Yeah, come on now. Patreon.com forward slash <laughs> Red Pill. The I don't know. Is this going to have its own Patreon? We'll talk about we'll how talk about that. paywalls yeah. and shit later. But hey guys, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this podcast and weren't stressed out by all the doomsday stuff. Nah. Oh, I'm finna stress them out in the next one. On the next one. So hey, so get time. ready. Oh, shout out to, uh, once again, shout out to Jax Phoenix and uh, Rock and Roll James out there in the RGV. Uh, we're we're going to tell you more about that trip on the next, on the next episode. Uh, but uh, Rock and Roll James' wife, she's she says she tunes in to Cafecito Time. Jax Phoenix, he wanted to get oh Starbucks gosh. with us. And he was like, "Yo, let me take the video, the selfie." Like, like he he uh, he has a YouTube channel as well. But basically, he was showing James. He was showing everybody, like, "Yo, look, we did cafecito time." It was kind of like I smoked a blunt with Snoop. Nice. It was I had coffee with Chingo. He, awesome. he picked me up. I had just finished having coffee. I really didn't need another mm -hmm. cup of coffee. Seriously, I didn't. Like, I literally had just had a a, a nitro. That's I mean, a, we already had tease. we already had coffee before this. But go on. I had a little bit of coffee before okay. this. Yeah. Um, but anyway, so when I when he said, "Man, it would be a dream come true if we could go to Starbucks," like y'all sure y'all yeah, sure, right and I was like, "Oh my god, how do I say no to this?" I'm like, "Okay," and he's like, "What do you want?" So I got a tall, like I got a small one, and I was like, "Fuck it, I'll I'm gonna need it tonight anyway, so that I can wake up," you know. So I was like, "I'll say I'll sip here with him and I'll save it for later." But I was like, Ugh. "She's like, well, my husband go up there and do them boring ass speeches." <laughs> <laughs> okay so yeah it was a cool thing it was a cool thing it was it was a cool feeling for me at least i don't know about how you felt you're but down in the valley and people are like hey man cafecito time bro that's what's up because that literally just started during the pandemic yeah. sitting on our porch 
you know and then when you things know. opened up then we became too busy to continue to go live but now we're together. doing it but we're here again we've on been demand consistent okay how long have we been consistent now this is our fifth episode hey don't See? let don't let the babysitter uh hear this episode she's gonna be like wait a minute are they they gonna be home with the kids all day and going live as a couple and then everybody's happy because they got their cafecito time <laughs> if only <laughs> if only if only. Yeah, Addison Improv, November 4th through the 6th. Y'all come through. Addison Improv. Get your Improv. tickets now. Going fast. See you next week. Bye. Peace.